The debt management advisor is also opposed to another extension of the deadline for the bailout of the domestic debt exchange program, arguing that it could affect the credibility of the program. This was captured in a document emanating from a high-level multi-stakeholder meeting involving the leadership of the Association of Banks, the Vice President Dr. Baumia, the Minister of Finance, the Governor of the Central Bank, Debt Management Advisor, and members of the Government Economic Management Team. While this threat is real, it appears the majority of the people in the meeting were in favour of an extension of the deadline. They are also considering returning to the IMF to push the debt sustainability target up from 55% to 57% or shift the target date by two more years from 2028 to 2030. This is to enable government to grant some of the concessions being asked by key stakeholders. According to debt management advisor Lazard, the IMF staff level agreement could be redundant should the debt exchange program deadline be extended again. But Professor of Finance John Gachi calls it a blackmail. I think that is just a blackmail. You cannot destroy your financial sector because you are doing debt exchange program. You cannot wipe away your middle class because you are doing debt exchange program. You cannot, uh, I mean, make some people uh, very uncomfortable draw them into deeper poverty because you want to do a debt exchange program. So there should be a middle line, and then the blackmail must stop.